Hey guys, so uh, I'm gonna check out a, a setup here in uh, in Bitwig to get it to control MIDI program changes. I'm gonna walk you through the whole thing from scratch, and uh, we'll start with a brand new brand new track. And I'm going to open a MIDI program change device, and on top of that, I'm gonna add Zebra. Okay, now the key to all of this to make this work here in a minute is to add Zebra to the effects chain of the MIDI program device, MIDI program change. Also, Yuhi only listens on uh, the MSB bank. So we set the MSB bank program, etc. Okay, good. Now what do we do when we're in here? So we've got presets. And let's uh, let's find some let's find presets. Well, it doesn't really matter. We'll just open anything and just uh, we'll do this in Explorer. So here in Explorer presets Zebra 2 MIDI programs. Okay. Rename that. And make a new folder and call it B Bank. Okay. Now let's find some let's find something we want to use. So like Zebratron, let's do that. So I'm gonna copy all of Zebratron, all one hundred items. into MIDI programs. B bank, there we go. Okay, now, next part is the uh, the numbering system, which just sets the order. Otherwise, these, will, these go in alphabetical order by default, and it is recommended to rename them. So, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So, what I'm using here is uh, bulk rename utility. So now, okay, so we have a pad of three, which gives us three digits. We're starting at zero, incrementing by one prefix with a space separator. So that will get us where we want to be. So save that preset, select all, we're all in order, rename. All 100 items have been renamed successfully, okay? So here, see, now we can see our, our B bank is all set. So inside of, <clears throat> which is uh, inside of inside of the bank. So every time you do this, save this. We have to uh, restart. The host. Open our MIDI program change back up. Okay, here inside of the chain, we can see Zebra. And now we switch because the numbering system is off by one. So this starts at zero, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to start at one, two, three, because we want bank B. And then now our program changes can be automated here. So we can do some interesting things at this point. So there's um, this knob, which will just give, which can give us uh, this knob control. Uh, from here, we can uh, add an automation lane, activate it. There's our MIDI program change automation lane. Or we could use a, uh, a modulator. 
like say just this random device. So anyway, that's the idea behind it. Uh, so now, now you can use this to use uh, control changes. You can save some space on your tracks. Uh, you can put this in the track to change patch names. Uh, you just have to set it up ahead of time and kind of think it through to get through all of it. But uh, anyway, uh, thanks a bunch for watching. Have a good one. Thank <laughs> you.